Hello everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of TPS Extreme. Oh man, don't tell me night's falling. Well, I did a bunch of stuff off camera. Like I planted some rubber trees back out there. Did some landscaping. Uh, you might notice this extends further behind my house than it did before. And on the side over there. And while I was doing that landscaping, I went ahead and... Uh, kind of put a fence up so you wouldn't fall in the water. I was hoping it would keep nasties from getting on the land. It kind of works, but not as well as I had hoped. Uh, and then I threw a, threw a ton of berry bushes here because they kept popping up in my landscaping over here. And yes, I know, I'm a horrible person. How could you possibly make such a big farm and not record any of it? Well, you know, I was kind of landscaping and I was like... Oh, you know, this would be a good idea. So I did that. And, and yeah, I kind of got carried away. But I've noticed that these berry bushes just keep growing in the same spots. And if you dig a berry bush with a shovel, sometimes you get lucky and we'll get two of them. However, if you dig one with berries on it, you don't get any berries. So you want to harvest the berries before you dig it with a shovel or an axe. Now, if you dig it with an axe, I think you get sticks. Whereas when you use a shovel, you get the plant and possibly a second plant. And I seem to be all out of inventory slots. Yeah, I got two blueberry bushes and two strawberry bushes. But I there was only one plant there. So that's cool. Um, this tree... It's kind of blocking parts of my garden here, so those plants are not growing at all. So that needs to come down, but I'm going to make a chainsaw to do that. And I thought I would keep that for when I was recording. Here you'll see I have uh, quite the selection of food going. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of wheat. Got a good deal of wheat seeds, a bunch of bushes. I'm going to end up ripping out all of the bushes over here and planting them in some kind of a more ordered fashion. They don't care about water at all, so I can do whatever, but I wanna have like all of one kind next to each other. So I don't know if maybe I'm gonna put like a big berry patch in back here. I wanna have some place to raise chickens, which I might do like on this side or something. And then maybe I'll just get rid of the rubber trees altogether. I believe these were both here last time I recorded. Um, but I know this all wasn't. All that rubber fiber? I got 99 latex there. Uh, and I got 89 there. I don't have any coal dust, unfortunately. But I've been looking, and I think I have everything I need to upgrade. I got 24 stainless steel. And... Let's take a look here. Every machine to upgrade to medium voltage. What do I want here? I want a furnace. You need four stainless steel. And battery, I think, is excluded from that. Yeah, battery doesn't. So I have a grinder, I have an extractor, and I have a furnace. So that's three. I do have some other things, but those aren't crucial. It's basically these. Well, the grinder and the furnace are the crucial two. So I definitely have enough stainless for that. To make more stainless, I would need chromium. I don't have any chromium, which is lame. I think I have enough copper. I went back down to the K realms actually off camera to get more coal and to find what copper I could and grabbed that. So yeah, I think we are ready to do some upgrading. So I'm just gonna dump off stuff that I don't need on me into this chest that is conveniently sitting here okay no I do need pipes okay I have pipes I don't think I need any wood for anything to upgrade I don't need that don't need that don't need that all right so first things first I'm gonna need wire and now I wish I knew which tool you're supposed to use for wire. Because everything I have used seems to work very slowly. Like, that's pretty slow. 
That was actually a little faster. So maybe I should use my sword to do that. I don't know. Okay, so let's grab the grinder. The extractor. Oh, the generator. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought the generator had stuff in it. But it doesn't. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and grab a stack of that and pull those out of there. So I have five low voltage cables and I think I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, you have to do them side by side like that. It still yields you three, but you use more rubber to do it, I guess. All right, whatever. Let's start. I'm going to need several of these. Carbon steel, copper coil, and fiber. Fiber, yes. Carbon steel, I have some. Not a whole a whole lot, though. I'm going to need that. Um, I don't have any coal dust, so I can't make any more carbon steel right now. Raw iron, I think. I think all I need, yeah, that's raw iron and these. So let's go ahead and make 10 of those, which will give me 20. <sighs> really hope I have enough here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make one of these. What were those? Oh, I didn't make the, the coils. Suppose I do need those coils, don't I? I wish there was like a way to do a different amount than 10, because I don't need 10. Or wait, I probably do actually. Because I need two of these for each. Well, whatever. You know what, let's just it'll use up all my copper wire may as well do it even though it's gonna give me an odd number there all right let's do the grinder first grinder yep let's make one of those and then do this oh I didn't grab my stainless how silly of me all right Medium voltage grinder, here we are. Uh, I should probably actually do a battery right away. That would probably be smart. You know, because I can't really do anything without the battery. Everything is cooked there. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, I made some batteries off camera, too. So I do currently have batteries all sitting in the power tower. There's three of them over there, I think. Let's go ahead. Climb on in. I'll actually, put them on the ground. Yeah, so there's three here. And we are going to grab those. Kind of stinks that I have to lose all the power that was in them. But it is what it is, you know? Nope, nope, didn't want that. I wanted this. But I don't want that. Here we go. Alright, so we have medium voltage battery box. Do I have enough to build one of these? I do, but I'll have to make another one of these. Actually, I need two of those. Bum, 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 bum. Because I guess without having, uh, you know, medium voltage solar panel, there's really not a lot of point in having anything else medium voltage. That didn't work right. Oh, yeah, that's why. Duh. I need to make the transformer first. Yep. All right. And then I can do that. I also have to go grab some of those solar panels from up here. And while I'm at it, I may as well, I don't know if I can reach that. I got to take down all that cable and upgrade it, but I don't know if I can. That might be too far over. Okay, what we want. 
I'll just take down three for right now. Because that's all I need to build this. And I think that's all I can afford at the moment anyway. And I'm going to take down all of this wire. Yep, sword is the way to do it. It's not the fastest. But it definitely works faster than anything else I've used. Oh, you know what? I could, uh... I can climb on this, I think. So that will work. Okay, now. Let's do that. And I may as well do more. Like, I'd probably actually be better off if I just did this. And then I'll just add the low voltage cables in as I get them. Okay, and this is my end point. It was kind of a bad place to put my first one, I guess. I should have just put it right there. Oh well. Live and learn. Or live and don't learn. As the old expression goes. I can reach it. This is going to take ages. Fortunately, it's not too deep. I can do that, can't I? Yes, I can. And if I had any idea where that was, I could very easily place it on the wall. All right, there we go. I'm out! Oh no! Fortunately, I got more. I can put three in each. And grab all those. And there we go. And let's run down into here. Whoa, he sounds so fierce out there. I don't even know for sure what that was. I think it was a werewolf. All right. And let's put those out. Now, where's my battery box? Um. Can I put the battery box there? Supply 1500. Okay, so that is working. Okay. So what I could do is I could put a wall of battery boxes there, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure how I really want to put these battery boxes in yet. Put them there? I don't know. It doesn't really matter right now. Because, like, I'm the only person using this power. My plan is... And this is a crazy plan, I know. But once this is a little more uh, developed, uh, I didn't want to do that. Once it's a little more developed, I kind of want to share the coordinates and let people, you know, come and build here and just use the power from the power tower. And I think that's doable. Uh, I would just have to run a line out to some place where the protection is shared between, well, myself and whoever I'd be sharing power with. And yeah, we could just share the power that way. And I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Like, the only thing I'm thinking is, you know, I'd probably want to make the other person, you know, provide some stuff, you know, like, I don't know exactly what, but maybe make them make some batteries or something to stash in here, just so we could store more power. Uh, I may eventually hook up a uh, geothermals or 
something of that kind and use those to create backup power for when it's obviously not daytime but I don't know on that I feel like it's one of those things where you gotta build a lot and I just don't know if it's worth it because uh, I think the Sun would provide enough if I build that solar array up there I don't know how much processing somebody could possibly be doing to get to the point where it wouldn't be supplying enough power Ooh, I didn't know that was gonna happen hmm that was unexpected <clears throat> Ew. I don't want those, I want this. There we go. The nice thing about this is uh, that the wire blocks the water, which ends up being super good because then you're able to, you know, not have water in here. And oh, that's probably why I put that dirt there. I'll put that back. I don't particularly want this full of water. And actually, I'll take the sand and black that, and that should dry this out. I think. Yeah. There we go. That's much better. Alright. Some of this is gonna get pretty sketch. So, we're gonna have to do. Gonna have to do some in the water. Which is gonna mean waiting till daylight. So, I'm definitely not going on that water during the night. Oh yeah, it would not be safe out there right now. We got that guy just waiting on my dock. Great. Uh, I guess... I could certainly jump back in the basement here. And if I take out this... I can get some of this out. Not too much, but it helps. Let's get rid of this sand. I don't know. Ah, uh, to block it. Of course, well, that makes sense. I don't know what's all above me there, so. Gotta be careful so I don't end up dead. Do I have food around here somewhere? I could use some. Nope, I don't. However, up in this chest, I got tons. Uh, I guess they're just gonna be a bunch of raspberries. Chomp, 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 chomp. Alrighty. Back to work. Let's grab those. Um. I'll just do that for the time being and then I'll add to that last stack and it looks like the morning is breaking which is perfect and let's do this and I'll have to uh, throw some sand back on top of that so I can cover it up get rid of this guy surprise he didn't attack me in the night like I would have thought 
That would have been perfect for him. I need that shard. Alright, where is that sand at? Let's go ahead and place some here. Alright, and then... We just need to do some trenching. Super exciting. Thrilled I get to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Okay, I was just... Just suffocating. Nothing serious. Thought there was a crocodile or something attacking me. But nope. Just running out of air. La 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 Almost there. Where's my... I don't have any. Okay. Let me get up. I need air. <gasps> and... Let's go back under. And finish this bridge of electric cable. I don't even know what happened there. Am I gonna have enough? I should, but I don't think I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I got plenty. Oh yeah, because I s took everything from up in the tower. Duh. Okay, so that should mean that we are operating at MV here. Let's go ahead and throw the switching station in here. Switching station gets an LV furnace. I'm going to eliminate that. I'm an MV grinder here. Let's go ahead and place this puppy out. Uh, it's just going to be temporary here, I guess. It's idle. Has upgrade slots. I forget what you need to upgrade it with. Something for mesicons and something for pipes. It's build an upgrade, a logic circuit or something, I think. All right, well... Let's see. Can I make another medium transformer? No, because I don't need carbon steel. So I'm going to have to find more coal for that. But that's going to have to be another episode. So I'm just going to go ahead and chuck all of my ores and that stuff back in there. And next episode we will work on continuing the MV upgrade. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week, same time, same channel, for the next thrilling episode.